adult male possible second degree burns. Hey, I thought it was your night off. I'd rather be here. William's back from his business trip. Wow, the old stepdad, huh? Yeah, he keeps trying to bond with me. I swear if he asks me to go to the boat with him one more time, I'm gonna go nuts. Yeah, it's really hard when parents try to get inside your head like that. Except he's not even my parent. I mean, just because my mom marries some guy doesn't mean I have to mind meld with him. Hey, man, lighten up. Hey, hey, I saw your name at the top of the honors list today. Congratulations. Thanks. It's about the only good thing about having a stepfather. Every night I'm not here, I'm at the library studying just so I don't have to be with William of Dorkland. Hey, at least he's trying to help you get good grades, huh? Yeah. I'm Claire, uh, Gerard's wife, right right this way. This is all my fault. I, I oh, put the curling iron on the little vanity chair there, and, and I had no idea it was still on. And... Sir, my name is Hank, and you're going to be all right. Monsieur Le Bon. You! No, 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 no. No, no. Monsieur Le Bon, you're going to be all right. All we need. No, 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 no. Is sir, that sir. your French teacher? I need to evaluate your injuries. Just you, Monsieur Beaton. The others, stay back. No problem. Go no in. problem. Shoot! Back! No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. BP 145 over 90, pulse is 88. Oh. Check with the base hospital to see if we can get him something for the pain. Me. And I'll need the burn pack. Oh. So I'm gonna need to have you lie in your stomach so I can... Please, be discreet, Mr. Beecham. I beg of you. There's nothing to worry about. It's, it's not as if I haven't seen a heart tattoo with the name Lola. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This'll help with the pain. Remember, Mr. Beach, I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. Discretion. Merci beaucoup. Oh. officially running after you. Hey. Uh, hey, Katie. Hey, um, going up for a track? Uh, no, actually, I was wondering if, um, can I talk to you for a sec? Oh, actually, guys, you know what? I, I suddenly got this just inexplicable urge to go see who signed up for chess club. So, <laughs> later. Right. So, what's up? Um, I need to ask you a favor. Sure. What? Um, okay, I know this is bad, and if you find this kind of above and beyond the call of duty as a friend, I'll completely understand, but I'm kind of in a bind, and... Tyler, what? Could you come to my house for dinner tonight? <laughs> that, that's, that's it? That's the big favor? <laughs> what are you serving, cafeteria food, or...? No, it's, uh, it's William. You know, my um. mom, uh, usually does this thing for my birthday, a special meal and stuff, but we haven't done it since my dad left. William found out about it and decided it would be a good idea. I thought I should invite a friend. Anyway, um, my mom's kind of got her heart set on it, so would you mind? I mean, it'll be a total pain with William there, but I promise I will make it up to you. You know, uh, do reports, carry equipment, whatever. Tyler, stop it. Of course I'll come. Thank you. Yo, oh, hey, man. Uh, you missing something? Oh, my French book. Yeah, you left at the station last night. I figured you could probably use it. Yeah, tell me about it. French is the one subject that's going to keep me off the honors list for good. It's the only subject I'm actually doing okay in. You're more than okay, you got to skip French 101. I had a French granny. She used to speak it to me when I was a kid. Anyway, listen, man, you better be careful today. I think Le Bon's going to be a little crankier than usual. All right. It's got to be one aching behind. <laughs> hey, great. I may never graduate. I'm telling you, this is big. Katie, it's not. Yeah, right. Oh, come on, dinner with the folks. Meet the evil stepdad so you can commiserate about what a pain the guy is. Not to mention celebrating his birthday with him. No, no, this, this is huge. We are talking major milestone in the relationship here. I told you there is no relationship. Oh, get over it. 
I wonder what the deal is with the stepdad. You know, it could totally ruin your chances if these snobby parents don't like you. What, what chances? And who said his parents were snobby? But then again, if he's really not into his parents, then it can make him like you more. But then what if they do like you? Mm. Oh, this could get ugly. Are you sure you want to go? No. Monsieur Lebar, are you better? Listen, I got that tattoo in the service long before I ever met my beloved wife. I, I didn't. I thought of having it removed, but it's so painful. And my wife, you know, she doesn't seem to mind it. That, that, that's... But I know how young people can be when they get a hold of personal information about the teacher. Sir, I have no intention of mentioning this to anyone. And the others didn't see anything. I made sure. <laughs> Thank you, monsieur. Uh, I'm grateful for your discretion. Very, very grateful. Counting on you, monsieur Beecham. Bonjour, class. Bonjour, Bonjour monsieur Lavon. Please open your textbooks to page 40, and we will read aloud. Ah. Monsieur Wait, you first. Du reste, il était le même pour les gens du monde et pour les gens du peuple. Peuple, not peuple. Peuple. Needs work, Monsieur Wade. Monsieur Beecham, continue. Um, il, il ne condamnait rien, hativement, a sand. Très bien, Monsieur Beecham. Très bien. Mademoiselle Ye, continue. Elle avait peur. <laughs> So, it says here the median home price for Tyler's neighborhood is like three times what it is in the rest of Kingsport. Brooke, so what, what does that have to do with anything? I need help here. Hello. You're trying to figure out what to wear, right? Yeah, so? Well, given the demographic of the neighborhood and the fact that Tyler's always saying his stepdad's a bit on the stuffy side, well, all I can say is I hope you're not wearing that. Why? What's the matter with this? Oh, you mean besides the fact that there's a big hole under the armpit? What? I mean, come on. These are people who probably have, like, finger bowls and stuff. Really? No. Mm. Hey, so I thought you might need another little pep talk before you... Um, you're not wearing that. Could somebody please just make this night go away? I'm not going. Hey. Thanks for coming. Hi. Looks like I'm a little overdressed. No, you look great. Uh, come on in. Wow. Yeah, the over-the-top police should be here any minute. Hi. Hi. You must be Val. I'm William Jenks. Welcome. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Jenks. No, no, please. It's William. We're, uh, we're very informal around here. Isn't that right, Ty? Sure are, Will. Uh, Mom, this is... Val, of course. We're so happy you could come and join us for our Tyler's birthday. Oh, thank you very much. Now, you're probably gonna find the menu a little weird, but it's all Tyler's favorites from when he was a kid. Mom. Uh, which I need to get back to. But it'll be ready soon, I promise. So I'll tell you what, you guys just, uh, relax. I'm really sorry about that. Why? They seem okay. Yeah, just wait. Uh, Tyler, buddy, I was wondering if you could take the trash out for your mom. We're kind of getting a little crowded in here. Back in a sec. I don't 
me to be told what to do every second. I'm not telling you what to do every second. All I asked was if you could take the trash out. Yeah, but it's like I can't even spend five minutes with my friends without you trying to tell me how to run my life. Tyler, I'm not trying to tell you how to run your life. Look, your mother's gone to a lot of trouble tonight to make sure this hey, is all... tonight wasn't my stupid idea. So anyway, I keep trying to get Tyler out on the boat with me. I told you I get seasick. Yeah, but they have a patch for that now. Anybody like some more chicken pot pie? Yes, please. Mm. Thanks. Mm. Tyler, did I tell you? I saw something the other day, and actually you might be interested in this as well, Val. They uh, put out a new study guide for the SATs. Well, I thought I'd pick up a copy and, uh, you know, maybe we could go over it together. I've already got those books. Yeah, but they've got this new one. I can study on my own. Thanks. Val, would you like some more potatoes? Sure. Thanks. So, um, anything new going on with you kids at school? No, not really. Pretty great news, though, about Tyler, you know, making that honors list, right? That's... Could you pass the tuna casserole, please? Tyler, buddy, why wouldn't you tell us something like that? He was probably planning on surprising us with the news tonight, weren't you, Tyler? Didn't you think that was something worth sharing with the family? Look, I didn't tell you because I knew you'd do what you always do, which is make a big deal out of something that really isn't any of your business. Tyler! Look, I am not your kid, all right? Back off! I'm so sorry, Val. Tyler, I'm sorry. Excuse me a moment, That's Val. Um, why don't you help yourself to some more baked beans? book in my locker. Right. Something tells me birthday dinner was a bust. It's more like a train wreck. <laughs> I'm not William. <sighs> Sorry, he's just driving me crazy. No kidding. <sighs> and I still can't believe that my mom married that guy. You know, it's like he's always got to make a production out of something. He's trying to impress my mom. He's trying to impress my friends. You know, it wasn't even his tradition. All he cares about are things. You know, the right people. This stupid boat, this precious car. And the other day, a bird pooped on his jag, right? And I swear, I thought he was gonna have a heart attack. Seems to me what you need is a little get even activity. You gotta blow off a little steam. Yeah, but what? Well, say he's not too crazy about birds. <laughs> Oh man, he's gonna hate this. Well, we have to make it look authentic. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> oh man, this is so gross. And for the finishing touch, voila. Looks like Big Bird really digs your car, oh, man. Go, 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 go. What the? Oh, this Daphne. is the most juvenile what? thing I've ever done. Doesn't it feel great? <laughs> well done, monsieur. What am I going to do with you? What'd you get? Try studying, Cesar. Man, what have you got on Le Bon? Yeah. No offense, but you getting a B plus in French is about as likely as me getting elected home yeah. king queen. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess all that studying just finally took, you know? Yeah. Right. People, remember to review chapter 11 for tomorrow's class. Hi. 
And hey, uh, I just wanted to apologize. No, it's okay. I understand. Gosh, does William get so out of control? Wait a minute. You're, you're apologizing for William? Yeah, you know, he's so in your face all the time. Okay, wait, I'm sorry. Now I'm confused. You're apologizing for someone who was nothing but nice and polite to me last night and who ended up having to drive me home because the person who invited me for dinner ended up leaving in the middle of it. Yeah, well, I'm really sorry about that, but if William hadn't have been there... Okay, but you know what the thing is, Tyler? He is there. He's married to your mom now, and as hard as that is to get used to, I really don't think he's trying to do anything except help make you guys a family. Except he's not my family. Okay, my father is family. That, that guy is just not. So, you know, you, you never did tell me what your dad said when you told him he made the honors list. Was he, was he excited? Was Actually, he... I, I left him a message, but he hasn't called me back yet. Tyler, I, I really don't think William's trying to replace your dad. I just think that maybe you're afraid if you let him get too close that one day, one day he might. Is her mom gonna be okay? Well, we have to take her to the hospital for x-rays, make sure nothing's broken, but she's gonna be fine. Is there anybody we can call to meet you guys there? It's just our mom and us. Our dad's dead. Hey, you guys. You guys ready to go to the hospital now? Listen, guys, are you sure there's no one we can call, another relative or family member? Aunt Stevie and Uncle Dan. They're not really our aunt and uncle. They're just our next door neighbors. They help Mom out a lot. Mom says it's not who you are that makes you family. It's how you act to each other. Excuse me, Monsieur, Mr. Monsieur Lebon. Um, can I talk to you for a minute? Oui, monsieur. Entrez-vous. <clears throat> well, I um, just wanted to say that uh, I know I'm not the best French scholar in the world, but, well, I was wondering if you could, the, okay, the thing is, I want to earn my grades. I don't, don't know what you mean. Sir, are you aware that as a member of the EMS squad, I am bound to a confidentiality code that's the same as a doctor-patient one? I wasn't aware of that, no. Sir, if you keep on acting like I've got something on you, people are going to start to wonder. Mr. Beecham, I was never trying to bribe you. OK, perhaps I was, you know, a little bit easier on you than usual, but I was maybe you know, feeling a little bit grateful for your help in my, in my, my time of pain. That's all. Let's just, let's just go back to me getting the grades I deserve, as bad as they may be. As you wish. Thank you, sir. But, Monsieur Beecham, may I suggest something? A tutor, perhaps? One of my best students will be arriving any moment now, and uh, I could arrange I'd for you. I'd love to, sir, but I wish I had the time. Ah, just... Monique. We were just talking about you. Oui, monsieur? Uh, maybe I could clear some time. Ah, bon. With that. That's uh, best to rub with the grain. Look, I'm sorry I was kind of a jerk the other night. Well, I'm sorry I embarrassed you in front of your friend. Tyler. I've never had any kids of my own. And I guess uh, well, it's kind of hard sometimes for me to show you that I care without, uh, I don't know, crossing some sort of line. I guess especially since I'm not exactly sure where that line is. 
and I'm not exactly making it easy for you. No, you're not. Maybe we both just need to relax a little. See where things take us? Yeah, I think that'd be great. I mean, on this boat is actually kind of cool. Don't move. And whatever you do, don't look up. There's a huge bird right over your head. <laughs> don't look up, huh? <laughs> Oh, <laughs>